In wine, it's more than just grape juice. There are many things happening in it, many interactions, and some of those interactions are between the yeast that are fermenting, but there's other yeast than just those that are fermenting, and those yeasts are producing other molecules that are making wine what wine is. As we know, fermentations are mostly done by yeast, and usually it's most of the wine, they also go through malolactic fermentation, which is almost exclusively done by bacteria. So microorganisms, which is both yeast and bacteria, matters a lot to the wine. They produce metabolites that change a compound from one form to another, and that's why the wine tastes like the way it tastes like. This paper was to look at separating the live organisms in a sample from the dead organisms. And by separating both of those and just being able to say that it's the live organisms that are in a sample, and if we're talking about a wine sample, it can tell us more about how that wine tastes, what the aroma is, and all those types of sensory attributes of the wine in a better way and what these organisms are doing to those sensory attributes.